lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I wanted to go through print and cut, just the very basics of print and cut. And basically how you turn your images into a print and cut and how you do it can make the difference. So the first image I've got is this one here. You can see it's got several layers. If I simply come up to operation and I select print then cut, it will change all of those layers to print and cut. However, it's going to cut each of those layers out. So if I just hide these quickly and we go to make it, you'll see it's going to separate each of those layers and cut each of them. If I attach those layers together and we go to make it, although it's now showing that they're all one, it is still going to cut out each of those layers. So even though we've selected print and cut and we've attached it together and it's showing like this, it will want to cut out every single one of those layers. If we go to continue and we send to printer, you'll see we've got the option to add bleed. Now it used to show you at this point the bleed. It doesn't do that anymore, which is a little bit frustrating because it means that you won't know if you've made a mistake until you print it out. Now, if we leave the add bleed on and we print this out, all of the image is going to be fuzzy because every single layer is going to have a bleed. And the bleed is basically a buffer. It is a outline of your layer. So every single layer or every area that's going to cut will have an outline. So your image will just look a mess. And that's how you would know that if you go ahead with the cut, any image that's got an outline or any layer that's got an outline is going to cut. So you know that this is just gonna be a complete and utter mess. If you've just got one layer, turning it to a print then cut by using the operation is absolutely perfectly fine as long as you're happy for it to cut out. So for example, if we just had the boo in black and we turn that to a print then cut, perfect, absolutely fine. But this as a whole is not going to work by using just the operation. Now if I bring this one back, what we're gonna do with this one is actually get rid of that solid base layer. So I'm just gonna hide it for now and you can see that we've got no solid background because I can see the canvas through those lines. Now if I simply come down and flatten, which is another way of creating a print and cut, it's going to flatten it all in to one layer. However, because we haven't flattened it to anything, it is still going to want to cut out those layers. When we want to flatten something so that it only cuts out the outline, we need to make sure that we are actually flattening to a solid background. So this image has got the solid background. If I select flatten, it will print it as you see it, but it'll only cut out that base layer outline. So it's not gonna try and cut out any of this. And that's because we've flattened it to a solid background. So if we turn an item into a print and cut, it's going to cut it as you see it. So it will print it, but it'll cut out any gap. So whether it be a single layer or a multi-layer item, it's gonna try and cut out any of the gaps. 
if we flatten it and it doesn't have a solid background then any gaps any openings it's going to try and cut those out and it can end up being very very messy if we flatten it to a solid background then it will only cut out the outline shape so if we look at this image if I turn this just to a print and cut by going to operation it's going to cut out this area here this area here this area here this piece 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 and the outline if I flatten it it's going to do the same thing what I need to do with this is create an offset so I could create an offset this size and we could change it to a lighter pink well oh, that's too uh, garish maybe something like that and we've then got two options we can flatten it like this and then it's still gonna cut out the middle of the letters or we can go to contour, make these solid and then flatten it and then again it's only going to cut out that outline. So those really are the basics that you need to remember with print and cut. If it's a solid silhouette image then you can just use operation to turn it to a print and cut anything that's got layers or is a bit more detailed then you may want to think about flattening it to a base layer or creating an offset so that you can then flatten it as always i hope this has been helpful if you've got any comments or questions please do leave them below don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you all again very soon bye